Hi this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode let's share photos using Flickr. So Flickr is Yahoo's photo sharing service. Probably the most popular one on the Internet. And iPhoto has a built in way for you to share your photos with your Flickr account. To get a Flickr account go to Flickr.com. You can use your Yahoo ID if you have a Yahoo email account and get into it that way. And then you can just set a few things up inside of iPhoto. So here I am inside of iPhoto and if I want to share a few photos I can select them, hit share and you can see in iPhoto 11 there's a Flickr option. Now I can set up a link to my Flickr account there. I can also go into iPhoto Preferences and under that go to Accounts and from there I can add a Flickr account like that. So when you hit Setup it will take you to a special page on Flickr that will allow you to link your Flickr account using your Yahoo ID with your iPhoto application. So once you complete that process back in iPhoto you'll see that the Flickr account is now enabled. You can now close that and on the left under web you'll see Flickr appear as a web service. You also see your mobile me account or anything else under there. So now you can go into your events and select some photos. I'll just select some here at random. And then I can go to share Flickr and I can get to share a new set or add the photos I've selected to an existing set on Flickr. I'll do a new set here and I can set some things up. If you're familiar with Flickr you know you can make a set available only to you, friends, family and define who those friends and family are or just to anyone. You can also uh, mess around a little bit with the size. I need to have a pro account to go higher than this. I'll publish these photos here and you'll see the progress bar at the upper right. So once you're done you can click on the arrow here at the top and it will take you right to that sample set and you can use this URL at the top to send to friends. There are a lot of other options here as well. You can do a slideshow. You can share in all sorts of different ways up here. And you can also edit the options for that particular set here. Uh, changing titles, description, tags. It will take stuff like this from your iPhoto collection when it sends it but this gives you a chance to change it on the web when you've uploaded it. Now one great thing about Flickr of course is that it's a huge community probably the largest of photos online so you can search other people's photos as well and if you've tagged your photos uh, they will appear in searches and other people can enjoy them. Now the advantages of using Flickr over Picasa are that Flickr is a larger community. It also is built right into iPhoto so it's a little easier to do. One disadvantage is, is that the free version only goes so far. You can only upload pictures of a certain quality and only so many of them. Upgrade for 25 bucks a year to the Pro accounts and you can upload as many as you want and use high quality. But Flickr, even the free one, can definitely be a better way to share photos with friends and family than having to email large files to multiple people. You can just upload them to Flickr, uh, let people discover them or send them an email letting them know that you've uploaded some new photos. So I hope you've liked this look at Flickr, a great alternative to sharing photos with your friends and family. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.